We are now onto the top bracing and fitting of the guitar. Sometimes the top is called the soundboard and the type of wood used for the soundboard affects the tonality of the guitar a lot. In this build, we're using Sitka Spruce. Spruce usually has a pretty bright sound. And the other thing that affects the tonality is the bracing. And so here we're using a traditional Martin style bracing pattern that's included in the kit. So to transfer the blueprint of the bracing pattern, you want to first find the center line of the top, put the blueprint over and adjust it so it aligns correctly. And then you want to find all the vertices of each brace where they meet, punch a hole through the blueprint so it makes a mark onto the top, and then basically connect all the dots together. Here I'm starting to fit the X brace together. You'll have to cut out a little notch where the two pieces of wood meet so that they can cross and be flush with the top. One thing to consider is that the X braces are also radiused on the bottom by maybe one degree. So that part of the radius um, piece of wood needs to be the part that you glue down. This will help the top stay relatively flat and not concave into the guitar due to weather changes or whatnot. I've also transferred over from the blueprint to the X brace, the parts that need to be chiseled out for the scalloping and shaping of the braces. I extended the X bracing pattern lines onto the actual X brace itself where the two cross so I can know what depth uh, and width of a notch I need to cut. And after drawing that out, I cut it out with a little Japanese pull saw and chiseled out the interior of it. We're also going to have to shape the what's called bridge plate and this is just a little trapezoid piece of wood that um, fits underneath the X brace. It's going to give a little bit extra depth for us to drill the bridge in and fit it later on. So here with just a little bit of wax paper I'm transferring the pattern onto the wax paper and then from there I'm transferring it onto the wood and then I'm going to cut it out. Much better. We have to cut some slots into the X brace where all the other bracing meets the X brace to give it a little bit of a relief and for it to uh, fit perfectly inside the blueprint pattern. So that's what I've done here. After dry fit and making sure everything aligns properly, it's time to glue the X braces down. And one thing I forgot to mention is you can either shape the bracing before gluing, or you can just glue it first and then shape it. And I've opted for the latter to give you a little bit more structure to work with. After the X brace was glued in, I proceeded to glue in all the other pieces of bracing. Now on to chiseling, which is I think the most fun part. For all of the side bracing, we're going to chisel the ends to basically paper thin or, or nothing. So it meets the kerfing completely flush. For the X brace and the top brace, we're going to chisel it out to uh, 1 one hundredth of an inch. And um, those little uh, gaps will be notched out of the sides to accommodate it.
Here I'm starting to shape the X braces. Um, not only am I chiseling out the edges to the required width, you'll also see that I'm shaving off the corner uh, edges of each pieces of wood that form the X brace. That's called scalloping and it's going to relieve some weight without affecting the structural rigidity. Don't worry if you're leaving um, any chisel marks or if the scalloping isn't perfect. We'll be refining the shapes with a file and some sandpaper later on. We're now on to fitting the soundboard to the sides, which up to this point in the project was by far the most challenging part, for me at least. Um, we want to start by first finding the center line of the guitar and the center line of the block. These should be previously found already. Um, the most important thing is there's going to be overhang on the guitar. And so the correct length you want is five and three eighths inches between the top of the sound hole and the top of the um, finished guitar. The total body length should be 20 and three eighths inches. So. I start by finding the center line and then marking that five three eighths, five and three eighths distance from the sound hole to the top of the guitar, um, laying that over the neck block and then drawing a line underneath to make sure I know where to cut and know where to line the top. After dry fitting the top, I use a white pencil to mark out the notches I need to file out of the sides in order to accommodate the X bracing and the top bracing. I started with a dry fit of the top. Um, making sure I had all the uh, clamps and calls I needed to, um, you know, cover all the surface area. And now I'm gluing it together. That's it. Thanks for watching.